Alabama has sent a minister to jail for defying a local judge and marrying a lesbian couple. Irish voters support marriage equality in a landslide, but marriages could still start in the United States before they start in Ireland. And one more study has shown growing support for the freedom to marry. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for May 25th, 2015. Anti-equality groups love to claim that religious officials are going to be punished for speaking out against marriage equality. But for some reason, they don't want to talk about Anne DiPrizio, a Unitarian minister in Alabama who was just sentenced to 30 days in jail for her stance on marriage. After a federal court ruled that Alabama's marriage ban was unconstitutional, Anne conducted a marriage for two women at a probate office. A local judge ordered her to stop, but she defied him and obeyed the federal ruling. Her punishment for refusing to vacate the office? 30 days in jail, suspended with six months probation, and a $250 fine. It is an actual example of the very thing that the opposition has been claiming will happen to them. And yet, none of them are coming to Anne's defense. Weird. Meanwhile, across the globe, congratulations to Ireland, the first country in the world to legalize marriage equality by a popular vote. Well, kind of. It hasn't been legalized yet. Voters overwhelmingly supported the freedom to marry in a referendum last week, but now legislators have to draft a constitutional amendment to reflect the vote. That should happen sometime this summer, and then the order will be signed before the end of the year. So what does that mean for the U.S.? Well, it means that now Ireland and the U.S. are in a race for marriage to start. We'll get a ruling from the Supreme Court in June, and if it's favorable, then marriage could start sometime in the next few months. But if it's unfavorable, it could take a decade or more to undo. Finally this week, a new survey from Gallup shows support for marriage continues to rise. No big surprise there, although the jump is big. We're up 7 percentage points over last year. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube for more on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.